everybody, welcome to the vlog. My hair is a mess. <laughs> Sophie's sitting here with me, looking pretty. Look at her. Had kind of a rough night. Oh, and I should just get into it right now. Probably get it out of the way. Um, so this vlog, I probably won't be vlogging too much, but we vlogged last night. I'm just gonna show you all those clips here, but I just wanna again, kind of give like a trigger warning for um, anxiety. I'm having like anxiety in the video. So if, you, if you're witnessing people that are having anxiety and that triggers you, skip to this in the video. Um, and also, uh, if you don't wanna hear uh, talk about animals in distress in any way, if that triggers you, skip to this also in the video. So I'm gonna show you guys now um, everything right now. Okay guys, we've been home for about an hour here. So we were only gone for a couple hours uh, today that you saw, only a couple hours. And a lot happened here in those couple hours. Okay, so when we came in the door right now, um, just Benny greeted us and not Rocco. And I was like, what? Like my heart just dropped because I was like, what the heck? Like, what does that mean? It was weird. Um, and then, oh my God, sorry. I'm just having a little bit of anxiety. Austin went right now to go pick up some things and be home in like, 10 minutes i just got off the uh, phone with the emergency vet and we're gonna be on our way to the emergency vet basically so i just like jumped ahead in the story but like i'm just trying to calm down a little bit just came up here so i was like oh hey benny like hey and then rajo is like not there so we go to him and he's like laying down huffing and puffing and we're like what is going on basically he's like huffing and puffing on the ground and his incision is like red really red and he has some discharge and he's like like that and he's like mm -hmm. and i'm like oh my goodness at this point like i know we went through this like vet journey this like bad vet journey and stuff like that i don't know now they obviously okay so they either did something wrong or um they didn't give antibiotics like i said originally uh so immediately uh we phone like all these vets that are open right now and austin's like i have no idea what's going on this is so weird because benny's perfectly fine and i was like he should have been given antibiotics like that day it seems like he has an infection literally what i said i'm not a vet i am not a vet um assistant i'm not a vet student i'm not a vet in training i'm not a vet tech i'm not any i'm not a doctor i'm not anything like this i'm not even a freaking anything but like i was i was like don't they get antibiotics it seems like he should have had them from day one so that's what we're doing austin just had to go run and grab something um so you know he'll be home in probably eight minutes now so i phoned the emergency vet basically um and they were like you, you need to come in basically and i was like yep okay we will be there just wanting to let you know just seeing like the covid protocols and um what he what the symptoms were and like is there room there right now can we come to the emergency vet so we are going there and um if there's like anything really seriously wrong i'm literally gonna send this other vet vet the bill at this point because this is insane it's not about the money it's like literally the practice like how many things were wrong like they gave us a dog without a cone first of all and immediately he started licking um right after surgery they didn't even give us a cone he like we had to like do it ourselves this is just so stressful right now so that's what we're going to do <sighs> come with us i guess um things change so quickly in life and things can just like i mean he's gonna be fine but i'm just saying like like what if we went overnight trip or something well we would have somebody looking after the house but like what if we had somebody looking after the house and the dogs that didn't really know what to look for or don't really know his mannerisms like literally one night can change so much good thing we're here like is this something serious is this just like a pain thing where he needs more pain pills or is it like an infection i don't really know so i'm getting like second third opinion oh we've only been home for like 40 minutes never mind i thought it was like an hour seemed so much longer i just need to get the proper information but um we're gonna head there now because you should be always taking care of your animals always seeing their mannerisms especially after surgery um especially after um a place you went to we're not going back there we didn't go back there especially after that when you feel so uneasy about something and then something like this happens he got home really quick okay he got home in like two minutes not ten all right we're gonna go ahead on our way oh uncle it's okay oh you look so sad we're gonna make you feel better okay buddy he's a little more lively now but still yeah just because he's in the car you know um if you get an infection and then if you're sick and it spreads through your body right mm -hmm. you know you're not in a good mood you're not happy it's just so crazy how like quick well like i said to you yesterday it looked like your stitches were getting better yeah and, like last night you're like oh like it looks great and then i was coming home it's like and he's like literally on the floor like anyway so we're just gonna go just um that's what you guys gotta do like uh animals will tell you when they're hurting animals will tell you when they're in pain get in there 
It's okay. Ow, my tendonitis. Come on, Marco. <laughs> okay, thank goodness we got him in there. So now we're just waiting in the car because of COVID protocols. He's doing really good. Yay. Yeah. Oh my God. We'll That's tell good. you everything of what happened when we get home, but it went well. Okay guys, so we just got home. Um, Rajo is downstairs sleeping with Benny. Benny was so sad without him. It was so sweet. What a sweet little dog Benny is. I'm so glad everything is good. Such a relief. So I previously already talked to them on the phone at the emergency vet. So I already told them already everything. So when we went in there, they already knew. So they kind of just like admitted him. Right down there, we filled out some paperwork. Oh my God, they were so amazing in there. I love, love the university. That's our emergency vet, uh, 24 hours. Sorry, you guys are looking angle here. You're on my my water bottle <laughs> yeah. cool like what am i i can't do anything so we brought him in and um they just took him to the back and we went and waited in the car uh that's the clip you saw and then they phoned and got some more information and we were kind of scared with the information they were giving us they were like has he been licking the stitches um is there something that he's like rubbing on with the stitches that's causing them to open and we kind of just stopped we're like are the stitches open? Like, that's what Austin just said. And she's like, oh, no, no, no. They seem all intact. I was like, oh, my God. Then why ask all that? Like, I'm, like, shook over that. Oh, my eyelashes are growing out. And my natural lashes are, like, poking my my eyeball. And it hurts. She's like, no, we're just getting information. We made another about 10 minutes. They phone us back. And then all they can really do is bandage it up. And they can't give antibiotics because antibiotics have to be issued by the vet. And I was like, exactly. They're, exactly. He needed antibiotics. They say he has an infection. Um, and it's basically really red and he's in discomfort because he's taking his cone and like scraping it up and like trying to lick. And every time he tries to lick, he's like scraping his cone on his incisions. <sighs> so while we were gone for the hours because we weren't with him in the house here, that's what he had been doing. That's why the redness progressed so much. So basically the vet said we can just go home right now and it's not an emergency. And he literally said, quote, he's not going to die in the night. He's fine. He basically just needs to have that area like shaved off, like probably with like a razor or something like that. All like the dead skin and like what's like, it doesn't look cute, but he said it doesn't actually look that bad. I just um, got him down to bed. Oh, he like, he like completely passed out on the couch. Uh, yeah, he might come up in a bit, but <laughs> he's just tired. I think it kind of took a lot out of him. They said there's nothing they can do. Well, they can do something, but um, the next day, they're going to need us to go and get antibiotics anyway from our vet. He's like, you just should just go to your vet in the morning and then have that all done because you're pretty much going to have to do it anyway tomorrow. Like, you know, like whatever they're going to have to do today, they're going to have to do tomorrow. He's like, so just go. I was so appreciative for them for being so honest and yeah. sweet. Yeah, oh my God. That vet, absolutely amazing. And he charged us nothing. He didn't even charge us the emergency fee because he's like, you guys, like, I, I'm just like looking right now. That's all I'm doing. That's all I can do. I'm not really, it's not really an emergency type thing. You guys are just going to go tomorrow in the morning and you're going to be spending even more money. He's like, so just go in the morning tomorrow. It's perfectly fine. I think we're just like, we're always just on it. Like if our animals are in pain and they're clearly in discomfort, um, we want to get them help. And especially because we had dealt with such a crappy vet, I'm like on edge already about anything. Yeah, no I'm um, kidding. Cause I'm like God. redness and a little, like- A little infuriated still about yeah. that. So it's all good. He's good. And then he didn't say anything about changing the cones. We're gonna ask the new vet tomorrow. And if they don't say anything about changing the cones, we might go look at, some of you guys suggested PetSmart. Really worried about the big guy. I just want him to be in good health. The I want the cones off him so he can go have fun and play. and Go back to the dog park and stuff. Go back to being Rocco. Yeah. <laughs> so that's about it. Everything is good. And tomorrow will be a better day for him. So that was everything that happened last night. So glad it ended on a good note. We've just been um, spending a lot of time with the dogs today and really doing nothing else but just chilling our home. It's kind of a boring day, but um, we need boring days every once in a while. What the heck? But look at he put <laughs> Oh, okay. Austin got me this. He went into Shoppers. This was on sale for $4.49. Clear out price. It's until May 7th. So go check it out if you want. This is a beautiful Venus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> razor with two extra blades with it. So that's amazing. Ooh. This is the color of it. It's really beautiful. Yeah, see? Then there's two other blades in there for under five bucks. Um, this is awesome. Always trying to help you guys save money. <laughs> okay, so I use this good Apple foundation. Look at it. 
Um, mine came damaged, and I was like, I should just return it, but this was the last shade in this, because it's sold out, so, uh, I don't know what to do. Um, maybe I'll just want to tell them it's damaged. I have no idea, but I used it because I was doing it for my TikTok. But see, look at the, there's like no clasp there. You can see it's completely off center. It doesn't close. You have to like force it open because look, it's broken there too. But the foundation itself is good. Like I don't care about the packaging because that's not what goes on my face, but I'm just worried about it drying out. Okay guys, so I just went to Tim Hortons for us and I got the new mini eggs donut and I already ate half of it, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot to vlog it. It looks so good. I had to dip into it. And the next one I got for Samantha is strawberry cheesecake donut, I think. Ooh. Okay, guys, I just want to give you an update on Rocco and um, what we did today for him. Uh, so basically, lots of rest, sleeping, rest, keeping the area clean. Um, he likes to like, roll around outside, so we're, we're pretty much having to go when he goes outside to pee. We have to go out there with him and make sure he doesn't um, get any dirt in the area. And if he does, you have to clean it off. Um, they didn't bandage him or anything like that. They just said that the cone was too short, they think. And they think that the cone is like... He's using it to like scratch the area because you know when you, you, you know when you're healing you get itchy and you keep scratching it, keep scratching it, and then it's getting even worse. And he has an infection, so he has antibiotics. Thank goodness to clear up the infection. They also cleaned up the area and um, gave us some uh, ointment to put on the area. He's doing so much better. He's running around again. So so glad. Um, just like these simple little things that we've done. Um, have created a huge impact on the wellness of his life <laughs> in the past like day or so so i'm very glad um just keep an eye on your animals like things can happen so quick i'm also watching right now this five minutes from death um dancing with the devil the it's like a 20 minute little documentary of demi lovato and her overdose and everything like that so it was a really good watch um, so far, I'm about halfway through, but it's really interesting so far and very sad and very eye-opening. So we're just gonna chill and watch some movies for us the rest of the night. I think we're gonna start off with Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones, and then maybe Us, because Austin hasn't seen it. So, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll catch up with you guys the next day, and I'm so glad everything turned out well.